Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Brogue. Today I am going to play the weekend contest number 347. It is Saturday, October 27th. And when I start up the game, hopefully, it will look like this, approximately. So, let's have a go. I am hoping that I have my audio issues I won't say sorted out entirely, but significantly improved from last time. Uh, we'll see. But uh, I have made some adjustments and done something and called adding a gain filter and, uh, and you know, some stuff. And um, also adjusted how I have my microphone positioned. And so I am hoping that with all of that, I did some preliminary tests, and uh, the tests suggest that the audio is going to be a lot better than in the past. So we'll see. I may need to make further adjustments, but I'm going to do a whole episode here and then listen to it and see how that worked out. Meanwhile, we're exploring depth one. By that way, that theme music you just heard, which I've used a lot, uh, is something I actually wrote myself in college, so I know for certain I can't get a copyright strike for that. This other stuff, as I discussed last time, is stuff that I picked up on a Usenet group where people who were composing audio for fun were sharing their own original uh, MIDI files. Uh, and I've used Timidity to convert them to FLAC because, well just for convenience mainly um, okay um, if I need a potion of levitation I'm gonna let this go until later because I don't want to start quaffing a bunch of potions right now um, because I don't have much in my inventory yet and it just seems premature I don't want to, for example, if I get an early detect magic, I don't want to waste it with an empty inventory on depth two. Uh, ah, I did that wrong. That's okay. We that dart that missed. That dart that missed, we will head back up and get it after the um, poison toxic gas clears. Okay. Uh, I guess I have to come back around to here. the eel that time rather than trying to go back past the eel again I'm just going to jump off a cliff here um, I happen to know that I am near the down stair here so I will land near the upstair right that worked out rather well it does cost a little bit of health to do that but it's not fatal Good, I didn't wake those up yet. Let's get my health back first. If I can. Uh, 
There we go. And then when I am at full health, we will go wake these jackals and deal with them. Mainly for the purpose of seeing what was in the corner of that room. I don't actually need to kill those right now. But I wanted to see if I was... Darn it. The monkey got away. I think he went in here. Yeah, but I'm not going to catch him. Alright, hopefully we will find him later on the level. I didn't even notice what he took. Oh, seven of my darts, leaving me with <laughs> three. I will definitely need to catch up with him unless I happen to find some javelins or something real soon. Because this could be a real short game if I only have three darts to play the rest of the game with. I don't dare throw darts at that bloat right now. Pit bloat. Oh, my inventory's full. Well, that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and test those tan potions po because I have three of them. Uh, of course, it's something harmful, naturally. This early in the game, if you have three of a potion, it's usually something harmful. But... Shall I also test the Crimson Potion that I have two of? I think I will. Okay, that was Strength. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and test the second, or quaff the second Potion of Strength. And then I'm going to equip this Spear, because I have enough Strength for it now. So even if it's Cursed and negative one or something, it will still probably be better than my Dagger. Uh, now, of course, if it's like a Spear of Mercy, then I'm in trouble, so that's not a risk-free action. Um, but I'm going to relabel that as B, so that it's my main weapon. Oh, look how much easier it is to deal with a Conjurer when you have a Spear. Okay. Down to the next level. Yeah. Oh, it's a spear of multiplicity. That's even better. Uh not that much better actually. Multiplicity is not one of the better runics in my opinion. But hey, I'll take it. That also means, implies, if it's a good runic, a positive runic, that implies that it's po a positively enchanted weapon, so it's at least plus one. Okay, uh, there's no way to go through the water there, so this is the direction. Uh, let's go here. Actually, because I have a spear, let's draw that into the corridor. we go. So this is the only way to proceed to explore the level. Everything must be this way. Alright, I need to test more potions. Didn't I have... There's a place up there where I want to levitate.
let's go up to that. I think it's on depth two. I forgot, I usually... No more darts. Okay, forget it. I can't catch the monkey if I have no ranged attacks at all. What I can do is go up to here. I need to start testing potions now anyway. So. Fire immunity. That's good. Uh, when you get fire immunity, that means incineration won't hurt you. So that's a good argument for testing more potions. Although it's not conclusive because there are, uh, yeah, other... The potion you're always afraid of getting is hallucination, although there are other harmful ones. But hallucination's the one that can really mess you up for a long period of time. It's worse than darkness. Okay, telepathy. Telepathy mitigates darkness. Nothing mitigates hallucination very much. Detect magic. Okay, so this O here must be the levitation. Okay, now I've got a Spear of Multiplicity, so I'm probably going to keep that for my weapon for now. If there was like a positive war pike in here or something, I might take that. But I'm not going to take the plus zero sword. The Spear of Multiplicity is about as good, maybe better. Um, the Lightning Slash 3. Um, the Chain Mail is arguable because I have the strength to wear it, whereas that Plate Mail, it's going to be a long time before I have the strength to wear that, unless I choose to put Enchants into it. And I think putting Enchants into armor is usually not a good plan in Brogue because every enchant that you put into armor you can't put into something else. The problem is armor has the heavier it is it has two downsides for being heavier. Not only does it not improve your armor rating by as much uh, and in fact if you don't have the strength for it it makes your armor rating worse but also the fact that it's heavier um, means your stealth radius gets worse. Now, enchanting it makes the first problem go away if you enchant it enough so that you have the strength for it. Then it makes your armor rating better rather than worse, which is good. But the downside of making your um, stealth radius worse, that stays. No matter how high you enchant plate mail, it always increases your stealth radius. So unless you want to also enchant a ring of stealth to compensate for it and spend a ring slot on that and happen to have one um, there's a trade-off there there's always a trade-off not that it isn't valuable to have heavier armor but it has downsides and so I think it's usually not a good way to sink your early enchants uh, now later when you have enough strength to wear the plate mail without even enchanting it that's another thing I'm definitely not going to throw it away. I'm going to carry it because I know it's positive. But um, it's not a high priority to put in chance into right now. Uh, so I might take that chainmail because I can wear it now without putting any enchants into it because I've already had two potions of strength. So I know that I can wear that chainmail because it's a lightweight mail. I mean, it's only a little heavier than scale mail, which is only a little heavier than leather. Um, but... I think I'm going to take the Slash 3 Lightning. Wand of Invisibility is almost completely worthless even if you have allies. And I don't like allies in Brogue. Uh, they have a tendency to not only get themselves killed, but frequently get me killed too. 
because they wake things up that I'm not ready to fight. Things that I would rather leave asleep. Um, and so, uh, now in 1.7.5, I'm told that allies have been adjusted and maybe improved a little. And I haven't played them a lot in 1.7.5 yet. But in general, allies and brogue are not usually my preferred build. So, I think, and I don't have, uh, right now I don't have any allies anyway, I don't have the opportunity to have any. So I think I'm going to go with the lightning. Entrancement is useful, but it's very situational, and it's only slash 2, and the lightning is slash 3. Lightning is not that strong, but it is useful in such a wide variety of situations um, that you can add it to almost any build, and it's better than not having it. Um, oh, let me go ahead and step in here and note what the other options are. This is a vault on depth 2. And uh, the next most likely thing to take would probably be the chainmail, followed by the entrancement, I guess, followed by the plus zero sword. I'm not going to take that. The wand of invisibility, and there is no way I'm going to take the warhammer um, from a vault. Um, I don't usually pick up maces and warhammers, even when they're free, even if I know they're positive. Um, an argument can be made for runic maces with certain runics that mitigate their downsides, but... Um, the problem with maces is, is every time you hit an enemy, you get penalized for it by a turn, which is dangerous if there's another enemy around. Um, in 1.7.4, it was dangerous if you didn't kill the enemy itself. It would get a free hit on you. Um, in 1.7.5, that has been changed uh, because it pushes back the enemy that you hit uh, provided that, like, you don't have it cornered against a wall or something. And so it's safe to hit an enemy with a mace or warhammer in this version now if there are no other enemies around. But it's still risky. Uh, you know what? I have a known positive plate mail. I'm not going to carry around those other two. There's a limit to how many pieces of armor I'm going to be able to identify. Uh, I suppose there's a weird off chance that I could run into like 12 scrolls of identify and have nothing else to do with them. But that is such a rare occurrence. Normally when I have scrolls of identify I have things I want to identify. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and not carry the extra plate mail since I already have one that I know is positive. And uh, I would have to survive for quite a little while to get my strength up to the point where I can even use the one I've got. Identifying a second one seems rather unlikely. Like I said, unless I happen to get a bunch of spare scrolls of identify, but not like... Oh. Well, I uh, should not have died there. I was not paying attention to my hit points. And I'm an idiot. Because uh, I definitely shouldn't have died there. That's a newbie type death. Just not paying attention to your hit points. I apologize for that. I died uh, pretty early in that seed. Didn't even get to enchant anything. That's a bummer. I think it's a good seed too, potentially. That Spear of Multiplicity... Um, is not an in-game weapon, but and it's not something I would probably enchant unless I get desperate. But it's good enough to get you through the first couple of levels where um, normally you get to about depth 5 or 6 and you start seeing things like bats, vampire bats, and you can't fight vampire bats with the, with the um, starting equipment. You just can't. 
So if you don't happen to find like a staff of Firebolt or something, you typically have to invest in chance at that point when you start seeing those. Otherwise, they'll kill you. Um, there are there are things you can find that will mitigate that and give you some more time. Um, the other early enemy that that can cause you to have to invest in chance is ogres. They're actually worse than vampire bats in some ways uh, because they're harder to kill. But there are more tactical possibilities with ogres. You can lure ogres up to the level above and then jump down and the ogre will usually stay above. You can't do that with bats. They'll fly down after you. Um, there are some other tactical things you can do with ogres. You can often use thrown potions against ogres. And that seldom works with bats. Um, so anyway, um, I, I find that a vampire bats, when you get to level 5 or 6, in a lot of games, they force me to invest in chance. But with that spear of multiplicity, I was going to have no trouble with vampire bats. Um, and even ogres might have been tractable with it. I'm not sure. That depends on whether it's... If it's plus one, probably not. If it's plus three, maybe. But anyway, uh, that looks like a pretty good seed so far. And I'm sorry, I didn't get very far. So, perhaps another week. Uh, I'm going to stop recording now and then stop this music. And perhaps I will record another episode another time. Thanks for watching, and uh, later.